Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mick McCran, I'm a sergeant at the Bendigo Police Station. At approximately 11.35am this morning, a collision occurred on High Street Kangaroo Flat. A female born in 1931 from Kangaroo Flat has reversed the vehicle into the shop behind me, which is the post office in Kangaroo Flat. It's caused some significant structural damage there. As a result of that collision, the driver's then panicked, put the car into drive and moved forward. While moving forward, the driver has collided with another two parked vehicles. Both of those vehicles had a single occupant, a male and a female, so one in each. They're not injured. The female driver and passenger both have some very minor injuries and are elderly and being attended to by ambulance who are on scene. A uh, number of tow trucks, ambulance, SES and fire brigade services from Bendigo also attended the scene. Um, as a result, traffic will be blocked for uh, approximately 45 minutes on High Street and reduced down to one lane until we can clear the traffic. At this point in time, we don't expect that any charges will arise from the collision. However, I'd expect that the elderly driver will have their ability to drive, in other words, their driver's licence reviewed, and uh, I'd be uh, surprised if they were able to uh, maintain their driver's licence after that review was done. Um, all units responded from Bendigo. Media release has been done in relation to the uh, traffic diversions in place. Um, I'd suggest today that this is a fairly busy traffic both road and pedestrian area and we're extremely lucky that no pedestrians were injured, that shopkeepers weren't injured as a result of the collision. So given the serious nature and the damage behind me, um, I think it's quite fortunate on this occasion that no one's been seriously injured. And I think we're blessed that the, uh, the lady, the offending driver, has only got some minor injuries. We don't have any information in relation to uh, factors surrounding the collision. I'd suggest that alcohol is not a factor. It's unknown if medication was. It's unknown if the person uh, had any other illnesses or, uh, or significant concerns at the time. Are there any concerns for safety of the building here? From a structural point of view, I'm led to believe that a structural engineer will check out the, uh, the, uh, the building in about the next 15-20 minutes. They're expected to be on scene. But as you can see, effectively the mailboxes have been damaged, so really it's like taking out a window in a shop. It doesn't hold a significant strength and value to the front of the building, and there is a beam in place above those windows that we don't expect that we're going to have any issues with the building collapse. So it's more that we're just going to tick the box and get somebody out here to ensure the integrity.